Welcome to family, friends, uh, faculty, staff, and all who have come today to celebrate our graduates. We are so proud of their hard work, and as we mentioned in the prayer, their tenacity, their strength, and their perseverance to endure challenges and overcome the obstacles to be here today. We celebrate you. We rejoice and are joyous for this great accomplishment. Enjoy this time and celebrate your uh, great achievements. At this time, I'd like to invite up Dr. Karen Armstrong, the program chair for nursing, to the podium. Good morning, everyone. It's my distinct pleasure to welcome you to the class of April 2019 pinning ceremony. The pinning ceremony is undoubtedly the most revered for any nursing graduate who's transitioned into practice. The pinning ceremony signifies fulfillment of a dream and departure to serve the world in a unique way. Among our distinguished guests and dignitaries, we are pleased to welcome board members, faculty, student services professionals, career services, family, friends, and other well-wishers. Graduates who've been on a journey, and today we're recognizing the culmination of your dreams. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please join me in a well-deserved round of applause to our graduates. Welcome, welcome, Bryce, welcome. At this time, President Chavez will give you his remarks. Thank you, Dr. Armstrong. On behalf of the faculty, staff, and administration, I want to personally uh, welcome our graduates, our future nurses, your families, your friends, and everyone else that supported you and that's here today. I want to welcome you to uh, the Herzing University Nursing uh, Pinning Ceremony. Um, as Dr. Bell said, we are so proud of you. You're proud of your uh, hard work, proud of uh, everything, the effort you put in, uh, and we all know that the support of your family, your friends, each other, and even your faculty have helped you uh, get to this day. Um, and as you know, this is tough. <laughs> this, is, this was a tough program, and uh, the very fact that you are uh, sitting here today uh, says a lot about your tenacity, uh, your intellect, your discipline, and everything else that goes into being, uh, being successful, so I commend you for being here today. One of my uh, favorite presidents, uh, Theodore Roosevelt, uh, said, uh, anything worth, uh, worth doing is worth the effort, right? So this tough effort was certainly worth doing, and you were able to get yourself here today. So when I think about you all as nurses, now I'm not a, a nurse, but over the last couple of years as, as president and working with all of you, I've learned a whole heck of a lot about nursing and what it takes uh, to be a nurse. And I know I cannot do what you're doing. I cannot be sitting in your seat. I cannot be in, uh, in your shoes uh, for multiple reasons. My brain's not wired that way. Um, I get a little queasy when I see blood, and <laughs> I don't know if I could do uh, what you're doing here. But the one thing I think we all have in, in common, and hopefully you see this from uh, the faculty, the staff, the administration, myself, Dean Bell, and that is caring. I think at Herzing University, this is about the most caring environment that I've ever uh, been in. And hopefully you all as nurses will take that uh, caring with you, uh, the respect of working with uh, other people, the integrity it takes, doing what is right uh, when you're out there. And I think, you know, just today, as, as we celebrate today, is, you know, we're always striving to do what the, the right thing is. And so hopefully you take today's pinning ceremony, you take your experience uh, over the last semester or two, and think about, okay, there was a lot of, a lot of uh, tough times, tough decisions, and a lot of people trying to do the right thing uh, for everyone involved. So I commend you uh, for that. Also working with, with people and caring for people, uh, one of the things that stuck in my head over the year, years is, is 
how we treat other people, right? And uh, one of the, the beliefs that, that I carry that I picked up along the way over the years is kind of the concept that our humanity is, is shared, right? Our humanity is shared between, uh, between each other. And our value as, uh, as humans and to other people is how we treat and how we interact with other people, right? So there's many professions and vocations that we can, uh, we can choose. Um, you know, everything from, uh, you know, selling, uh, you know, selling God knows what to, to do what you do as, as nurses. And I want to make sure that, uh, that you know that every day, every interaction, you don't know how much of an impact or a difference that you're going to make on that patient you interact with, their family, their friends, and that uh, you should get you know, that, that humanity coming from, uh, from uh, those experiences. And well, I'm highly, highly respecting uh, of you and uh, ad, uh, admiral of, of you as well. So we're going to celebrate today. We're going to have you walk up on stage. We're going to clap. We're going to do a lot of uh, a lot of celebration, and I want you to continue that over the weekend. And when you go out with your families for uh, lunch or brunch or dinner tonight, and you celebrate with your family over the weekend. But you know what I'm going to ask you to do come Monday morning, right? It's a study for that NCLEX. <laughs> but here's what I am confident of: the very fact that you all are sitting in front of us uh, here today, and you made it to this point. Uh, undoubtedly, without a doubt, unequivocally, right, Dr. Armstrong, these graduates are ready to become nurses. They're ready to take that tough NCLEX test. And um, I wish you all the luck and all the support. And remember, over the next uh, month, 90 days, however long it takes you to prepare for the NCLEX, uh, Dr. Armstrong, our faculty, and everyone um, in this, uh, well, in this building and the building across the street at the campus is here to support you uh, past that NCLEX on the first time. So accept uh, my uh, congratulations to you. Um, job well done, and I am so proud of you. And let's uh, keep the pinning ceremony moving and, and get to where we want to do is see you walk across that stage and, and receive your pin. Well, not this pin, but your nursing pin. So thank you, everyone, and congratulations. Thank you, President Chavez, for your remarks. And uh, we truly are grateful to be here today and celebrate with our graduates. At this time, I'd like to welcome to the podium Sylvia King. Sylvia is going to come forth and introduce or uh, give us a few words of her, uh, her experience. And congratulations to Sylvia on a job well done. Okay, so good morning. Welcome, everybody. Um, I want to thank everybody for coming out and helping us celebrate this major milestone. Um, it's been a long journey. Uh, it's been a long two years. Um, a lot of days we didn't think we would get here, um, but we're here. So with that being said, I'm going to ask Michael, our vice president, who has kind of been my shadow for the last year and a half, to kind of come up and support me while I give this speech, because I don't like public speaking. So this is a challenge for me, everybody. So I'm inviting Michael to come up here with me. Okay, so it's been a long two years, um, but the time was well worth it. So we made some huge sacrifices, um, made some bonds, formed some friendships. Um, and I don't think I could imagine this journey without these people here, because now they're my family. We started off as friends, but now we're family. Um, we encourage each other, we cry together, we complain together, but at the end of the day, we all have that hers and experience. Um, people often just say it's nursing school, but it really is not. It's more than just nursing school. Nursing school is hard. Studying for hours every day and failing the test by one point is hard. Um, staying up all night for the, um, an exam or for a clinical paperwork that's due the next morning, that's hard. Um, leaving the house before sunrise is hard. Not being able to spend time with your family and your friends is hard. Um, because we're drowning in assignments and clinical assignments. Memorizing every sign, symptom, and treatment and drug for the one billion diagnosis that we have to know for our <laughs> exam the next day um, is hard. Okay. 
not being able to spend time with our family and friends um, has been very hard for us. Um, fell in a semester or watching one of our classmates fell, who has now become our family, um, is hard. Our class had 26. I'm not gonna act like there's not an elephant in the room because you see it on the paper. There were 26 of us, nine of us finished. It's hard to be up here and they're not with us because that two years they were with us from start to finish. Um, we're gonna meet them at the finish line in September when we graduate, so a plan delayed is not a plan denied. So we're still rooting for them and we're still looking forward to seeing them. Well said. Well said. So, if you ever passed nursing school and became a nurse, I'm proud of you. I worship the ground you walk on. Um, but seriously, this was like one of the hardest challenges I had since being a parent. Um, all this sacrifice just so I can wear that little stethoscope around my neck and I could, you know, be cute. <laughs> it was hard. Um, People often say, oh, it's just nursing school. It can't be that hard. Just study harder. It's hard. Trust me, it's hard. Um, but yet, nursing is one of the most rewarding careers, and I couldn't imagine doing anything else. I've been in this for 15 years. This is my second degree as a nurse, so it's one of the hardest <clears throat> things ever, but it's the most rewarding, and it's where I know I fit. Everybody has to find their niche. This one is mine. Um, hmm. Deep breath. So. <laughs> Nurses are special people. They're something like superheroes. I think I'm Wonder Woman, as y'all can see. Um, and a challenge that most people couldn't do on their best day, but we do on our worst day. Um, look around the room. As I said, it should have been 26, but there's nine. Um, these people will be the ones that hold the hands of your, your father after he survived a heart attack your mother after a stroke, the nurse that will hold the hand of your dying loved one when no one else is there, the nurse who will arrive home late to her own family because she was taking care of yours, um, the nurse who will keep her family member, your family member alive as they undergo surgery or answer the call light for the fifth time while four other people are waiting for her attention. Um, Nursing is one of the hardest things, and I've ever, never, ever would have thought doing this. Um, it's it's hard, almost as hard as being a parent. So anybody in here that's a parent, you know how hard that is. So imagine that in nursing. They go hand in hand. Um, yet I couldn't imagine doing anything else. And so as we branch off into our new careers, I would like to thank the faculty at Herzing. These are some awesome people here. They pushed us, they encouraged us. Even when we didn't have courage and we didn't believe in ourselves, they believed in us. So I thank you all for all your hard work. Um, <laughs> and lastly, to my cohort, my friends, now my family, I thank you all for allowing me to be your president. This is our vice president. This is in my shadow. <laughs> He's taking the place of me, uh, my brother, who couldn't be here. Um, I lost my brother through the two years of being in nursing school, but he's always been here, so I call him my brother from another mother. This is why I brought him up here, because he supported me. He's called me. He's texted me. Where are you at? Why are you late? Come on, let's go. So <laughs> this is why he's here. You want to do your last part? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well... I wasn't planning on to give a speech. <laughs> she called me up here. I don't know why. <laughs> but, you know, everybody, I'm, I'm like the big brother to everyone that's up here. And I just want to tell you that I'm proud of you, and I'm so grateful that you allowed me to be your vice president. And I'm going to make you all proud. Yeah. Um, let's go out, pass this in, Clex, with flying colors on the first try, 75 questions. Let's knock it out the box. Knock it out the box. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> thank you, Sylvia. Thank you, Michael. Very well said. Sylvia, thank you. At this time, I would like to invite 
our person who will be introducing our guest speaker, Carla Borelli, to the podium, please. They were worth every penny I paid. <sighs> okay, I got this. Um, our next speaker may be new to you, all in the audience, but she's known to us. She's near and dear to our hearts. Um, she's been a registered nurse for over 12 years. So that's about the time that I was an embryo. <laughs> Um, <laughs> she has a master's degree in nursing, and it doesn't stop there. Um, she's, um, she will move on to complete her second master's degree to become a nurse practitioner specializing in psychiatric health in psychiatric health, and she will continue her studies to become a PhD student exactly, I think, one month later. Like, she is amazing. Um, she accomplishes all of this while being a wife and a mother to nine children. Wow. Yes. <laughs> she is brilliant. She is a brilliant educator and somehow manages to find a time to be our cohort, I mean, my cohort's rock. She was um, a continuous emotional support and inspiration to all of us. Um, she's taught us all a thing or two, billion, throughout this challenging journey called nursing school. The compassion she has for others is palpable, and I don't mean just her patients either. Um, there was a time when she directed us out of a unit. Um, we were in a psychiatric facility, love psych, and um, it started to get a little rowdy, and so she escorted us on and, you know, um, took us to a place of safety. Um, it was safe for us. Unfortunately, it wasn't so safe for her. She took a wasp thing, <laughs> um, trying to protect the rest of us. Um, and uh, Michael went into his trusty trunk, and I think there were, like, missing children and puppies, and he has everything in his trunk. And we all came together and um, tried to apply some first aid and, you know, made sure that she was okay. But we came together as a cohort. We came together as a class, the way we've been doing the last two years. And so I'm very proud of you guys. And again, like Sylvia and Michael said, thank you for allowing me the better part of the cohort to be a part of your lives. <laughs> um, all right, so she's a respectable professor and an even better person. Ladies, gentlemen, distinguished faculty and staff, please join me in welcoming my favorite professor, the future Dr. Jovan Caldwell Taylor. <laughs> sound good on paper. I was like, oh, that's me. <laughs> thank you, Carla. And thank you all, students. Good morning. Good morning. First of all, let me say congratulations. <laughs> and not just to our graduating class of future nurses, but to their family and friends in the audience. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. You will soon get your significant other, parent, sibling, or friend back. <laughs> and thank you. This celebration of achievement is one for you all. Please stand and remain standing if cooking and cleaning responsibilities fell on you over the past two years because your loved one was in school. Please stand if you had to take children to school or pick them up because one of our graduates had a clinical day. Stand and remain standing. <laughs> what about those who babysat, paid the bills, worked extra hours, or sacrificed their graduates' presence at birthday parties, weddings, date nights, or any other event while they attended school. <laughs> Stand if you helped a graduate study so much you think you should be an honorary nurse. <laughs> 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 
If you have talked a graduate out of dropping out of nursing school, please stand. <laughs> and we thank you. <laughs> and if you supported a graduate in some other way that I haven't mentioned, please stand. Now, graduates, please stand in recognizing the loved ones who help make you, help you make it to the stage. Thank you, thank you, because without them, you wouldn't be here. You would not be here. If you gave birth to a graduate, thank you, thank you. <laughs> and to the Hersey University Bachelor of Science in Nursing class of 2019, woo, congratulations. <laughs> congratulations. But I also implore you to remember that nursing was founded on the art of caring. And although, yes, nursing will afford you financial stability, and yes, you can finally vacation on the islands of the Caribbean, <laughs> always remember nursing is all about caring. Remember that although those assigned to you are classified as patients, they are, above all, human. A living, breathing, feeling person with emotions. Someone who has had a career, who has likes, dislikes, and a family that loves them. Yes, the person laying before you in the bed with a physical or mental affliction is someone's spouse, parent, child, auntie, uncle, cousin, sibling, and or friend. And they deserve respect and competent nursing care. Respect may come in the form of being non-judgmental towards a patient who has made a life choice different from one you've chosen for yours. Competent nursing care may come in the form of recognizing the signs of cardiac arrest. And because you study for the cardio exam, because you knew lockdown browser would be enabled on your computer, <laughs> you know exactly what to do. Remember, as a nurse, there are many situations in nursing where you are the only thing standing between your patient and their grave. And many more times than that, you have the chance to make a lasting impact on a patient's life. Trust me, I know from experience, the memory of me holding a patient's hand while he took his last breath, has lasted with me longer than any material thing that I have purchased since becoming a nurse. So as you prepare for and pass the NCLEX, remember not to lose sight of the part of nursing that truly matters. Compassionate, caring humans providing competent care to other humans. Thank you, and again, congratulations to our graduates. Thank you very much, Professor Caldwell, and congratulations to the graduates or on this pinning ceremony. It is definitely my honor to be able to call you forth today. So if you would be prepared, we're going to do what you came here to do and award the pins. So in preparation, if you all would please stand. And if you are a family member that is participating, we would ask that you would make your way down as well. Awarding the pins will be Dr. Armstrong and Professor Mara Vassell. And we will begin with Mr. Michael Barnes.
Erica Borden. Carla Borelli. Delonda Bryson. Sylvia King. Lynn Wynn. Olufumilayo Onofomo Khan. And she told me I better get her name right. <laughs> And last but not least, Tara Pettigrew.
Lamplighting is a noble tradition for all nursing graduates. This tradition commemorates the heroine of nursing, Florence Nightingale, who was seen in the dark alleys with a lamp while caring for the injured soldiers of the Crimean War. The lamp symbolizes the light that a nurse becomes to her patients or his patients, and as a symbol of hope and comfort to those who are suffering. The graduates will light this lamp as a commitment, and at the end, we will have you to recite the nursing pledge of service, and that will be led by Dr. Leonie Reed. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. I'll wait for all your lamps to be lit. Florence Nightingale, our pioneer of our nursing career, has established a pledge that we as nurses take when we embark on this journey. So you would repeat after me. Thank you. I solemnly pledge myself before God and in the presence of this assembly to pass. Repeat after me. I solemnly pledge. I solemnly pledge myself before God. And in the presence of this assembly to pass. My life in purity, my life in purity. And, to my and to practice my profession faithfully. I shall abstain from, abstain from whatever, is whatever is deleterious and mischievous, and, mischievous and, mischievous and shall not take part of Knowingly, knowingly administer any harmful drug. Any harmful drugs. I shall do all in my power to maintain and elevate the standard of my profession. The standard of my profession. And I will hold in confidence, in confidence, all personal matters committed, all personal matters committed to, my to my keeping in all family affairs, in all family affairs coming, to my knowledge, coming to my knowledge in the practice of my calling. I shall be loyal to my work and devoted towards the welfare of those committed to my care. Thank you. This is the Florence Nightingale's pledge. At this time now, we will have recognition of awards. Drum roll, please. <laughs> All right. So the nursing chair award goes to Delonda Bryson. Congratulations, Alanda. All right. The next award goes for academic excellence to Ko Nan. The award for clinical excellence goes to Michael Barnes. <laughs> All 
right. We also have a second Clinical Excellence Award. I will not be like Professor Revely and probably get this name correct, but I'm going to try. Olufu Malayo Onofo Wokan. Congratulations. And our last award goes for resilience. And this award will go to Carla Borelli. Congratulations to all our award recipients. We do have one last award, and this is our faculty award. And this award goes to a faculty member for their recognition, dedication, and commitment to our students. And that will go to, to Professor Mara Vassell. Congratulations, uh, Professor Vassell, and thank you to all of our faculty who have worked hard to help our students get to this moment, our graduates to this moment. Um, so now we're coming to the conclusion of our ceremony, and I just want to uh, give a couple of closing remarks. Um, one thing that Sylvia said in her speech that really stuck out was just all the challenges and um, all the things that she faced in her journey as uh, a nursing student. And thinking about all that you have sacrificed to be here, all that you have worked hard for, um, the many hours that you put into studying, um, it was an arduous journey, and you did it. What I want to encourage you to do is let this moment in time sink in. Don't forget it. Never forget this moment, because there are going to be days ahead when the road gets tough. There's going to be days ahead where there are challenges and there's struggles, but never forget this moment because when you remember this moment, you'll remind yourself, I can get through this. I can do it. So um, I'm very proud of your academic excellence, but your perseverance, your tenacity, and the hard work to get here. I'm, I'm grateful for your family and your friends. I'm grateful for our staff and our faculty. It takes a village, and um, today we celebrate you, and we're very proud of you. So with that, congratulations, for, and um, that NCLEX is coming. But, you know, I know all of you are ready and prepared, and we are praying for you. We're giving you good thoughts, and whatever we can do to support you as you prepare, uh, we're here for you. So with that, um, we're going to close our ceremony. and. Um, Real quickly, I would also like, before we do the procession, to just recognize our speaker. If you would like to come forward, please, Ms. Javon Caldwell, Professor Javon Caldwell, and accept this If the graduates would please stand. Mm -hmm.